I've been doing a lot of double knitting board work lately, which I love, but there is a downside. We wrap the entire row, then we knit it over. While wrapping the row, we set aside the loom hook we need to. Unfortunately, I keep losing mine, so a solution is necessary, and it occurred to me that I have these beautiful interchangeable crochet hook handles. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a loom tool that fit into this handle? Unfortunately, such a thing does not exist. I've looked high and low. So Jack and I put our heads together, and here's what we came up with. It seems to us that it should be possible to use two-part epoxy putty to create an insert that will fit in the handle. For the hook part, we'll start with an inexpensive loom tool and strip it and use that to build the insert around. Here, Jack is creating a simple tool for those that don't have calipers in order to check the fit. He's taped an adjustable wrench into a position where at the front of the jaws near the opening is the exact right size. And we can use that as a starting place to end the construction and begin the finishing. He's getting all fancy on us here, cutting the old handle off of the loom hook using a pipe cutter. It's very neat and tidy done this way, but I will tell you, if you don't have one, it's not a problem. I have used both utility knives and utility scissors, the kind you keep in the kitchen, um, to remove this plasticky covering. It's not difficult to get off. His way sure is neat, though. I compared the length of the original tool with what it was going to be like inserted into the handle and determined how much of the steel shank I wanted to remain and he's cut it off there and now he is starting to knead the putty. This two-part epoxy putty is very moldable. It heats up as the two parts blend. You can work it by hand. This particular brand has a longer working time than most and also is stickier but it's what we have on hand and because of the two of us, he is the more skilled with this putty. He's doing the work. I quite often use it myself, but he's a lifetime mechanic. What can I say? He wins. And having formed the basic shape, he's using a handy thing from the workbench. It's an electrical butt connector as a mini rolling pin to smooth out the details of the shape, the rough shape that he's made alternately fitting and smoothing and fitting and smoothing until it was pretty good and then we had to wait for it to harden a step we will not bore you with it just sits there once hardened it was a little bit large and that's the goal because you can file down you can't file up in size so more filing fitting oh look how close we are and finally finishing by polishing with steel wool. If you added up all the work time and left out the drying time, it was less than an hour. And voila, a tool. And it's gorgeous. Now it is time to test it. So here we go. Before I came on camera, I actually knitted several rows to make sure it didn't deconstruct itself or something. But it knits just as well as any loom hook knits. And of course, these handles have a nice feel in the hand. So there's nothing not to love as far as I can see. Obviously, long-term testing is long-term testing, and I can't have done that yet. But there's no sense of strain or difficulty. I think this is going to be a long-term success. And when I'm ready to set it aside, onto its clip it goes and around my neck. 